In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a front strut assembly on your Honda Accord. Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove the lug nuts. Remove the wheel. Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove the lower ball joint nut. Remove the cotter pin out of the outer tie rod. Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove the tie rod nut. Tap on the side to release the stud from the knuckle. And then remove the tie rod. Using a hammer or a removal tool, break the tension on the lower ball joint. Using a 12 millimeter socket, remove the bracket off of the knuckle for the brake hose. Using a 17 millimeter socket, remove the brake caliper bracket bolts. Remove the caliper off of the rotor. I'm gonna use a hook and I'm going to hang the caliper so that there's no weight sitting on the brake hose. Using a Phillips head bit, go ahead and remove the two rotor screws. I'm using an impact driver and a hammer. Remove the rotor. Using a 36 millimeter socket, remove the axle nut. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt for the ABS sensor. Using a pair of pliers, wiggle the sensor back and forth and pull it straight out. Our sensor is stuck in the knuckle. We're going to have to remove the knuckle, push it out, and then install a new one. Using a 17 millimeter socket, remove the pinch bolt. the bolt. Using a pry bar, we're going to wedge it in and pry down on the lower control arm and pull our ball joint stud away from that so it doesn't sit inside of there. We're going to push the axle in. Pull the knuckle forward. And we're going to wiggle it back and forth and take it off of the strut. I'm using a pry bar going side to side, helping the knuckle off of the strut. And then remove the knuckle from the car. Pinch the clip and push it through the bracket. I'm going to use a pair of locking pliers to hold the stud of the sway bar link while I use a 17 millimeter socket to remove it. Remove the sway bar out of the strut. Using a 17 millimeter socket, remove the two nuts on the strut bar. Do the same thing on the other side. Move the strut bar forward out of the way. Using a 14 millimeter socket, remove the top three strut nuts. We're gonna leave one, just a few threads on. This'll hold the strut 
Before removing the strut, if you have your caliper hanging from it by a hook, move that to a position where it will not be putting tension on the strut and that you can freely pull it out. Remove that last nut and remove the strut from the vehicle. Install the strut into the car, thread the nuts onto the top, stug them down using a 15 millimeter socket, torque these nuts to 32 foot pounds, Put the strut bar back in place. Install the four nuts. Snug them down. Install the knuckle onto the bottom of the strut, pull it forward, and stick your axle through the hub. Install the pinch bolt into the strut. Using a pry bar, we're gonna pry down on the lower control arm and get our ball joint into it. Install the ball joint into the control arm. Snug down the pinch bolt. Torque the pinch bolt to 55 foot-pounds. Install the ball joint nut. Snug it down. Torque the ball joint nut to 51 foot pounds. And then up to an additional 60 degrees. Install the lock pin. Install the sway bar link, put the nut on, and then snug it down. Torque this bolt to 29 foot-pounds. Install the tie rod end to the knuckle. Thread your nut on, and we'll snug it down. Torque this bolt to 40 foot-pounds and then up to an additional 60 degrees or until you can fit this pin through a slot in the nut. Install the cotter pin and then bend it up and over. You can cut the end off if you'd like to. Install the axle nut. Snug it down. Using a pry bar to hold the studs, we're going to torque the axle nut to 242 foot-pounds. Using a chisel and a hammer, we're going to stake the axle nut. This is so it won't back off. Put the ABS harness back into the strut mounts. Install the brake hose bracket bolt back into the strut. I move my brake caliper back up. Snug the brake hose bracket bolt down. Install the rotor, 
install the two rotor screws. Put the caliper onto the brake rotor. Install the caliper bracket bolts. Snug them down. Torque the caliper bracket bolts to 80 foot-pounds. Install the ABS sensor. Install the bolt. Snug it down. Install the wheel. Get your lug nuts started. Snug them down. Torque the wheels in a star pattern to 80 foot-pounds. You're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.